Keir Starmer, this is for Gaza. You have paid and you will pay a high price for the role that you have played in enabling, encouraging, and covering for the catastrophe presently going on in occupied Palestine in the Gaza Strip. I hope to put together a grand alliance of all the parties to remove, to remove, to remove, I want to put the town councillors on notice that we intend to clean the town hall clock. I make, of course, no disrespect to the returning officer and his fine staff who ran this campaign today and this count this evening virtually flawlessly, nor any public servant in the town hall. But the councillors have to go, and I intend to try to put together a grand alliance that will change Rochdale for the better. Keir Starmer's problems just got 100 times more serious than they were before today. This is going to spark a movement, a landslide, a shifting of the tectonic plates in scores of parliamentary constituencies, beginning here in the Northwest, in the West Midlands, in London, from Ilford to Bethnal Green and Bow, Labour is on notice that they have lost the confidence of millions of their voters who loyally and traditionally voted for them generation after generation. Every Muslim is bitterly angry at Keir Starmer and his misnamed Labour Party. But you would be very foolish if you did not realize that millions of other citizens of our country are too. Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak are two cheeks of the same backside. And they both got well and truly spanked tonight here in Rochdale. This is the first time ever in British political history that the two big parties of the state were thoroughly and soundly beaten. Yes. And I think that that will not have been missed in Downing Street or wherever Keir Starmer currently hangs out. God bless you. God bless Rochdale. God bless Gaza.